All right, we're gonna work on 57 through 62. All right, 57, use this graph to answer the question. Which function is shown on the graph? So let's, let's look at what we have. First off, we have an opened parabola, so they need to all be positive, which we're good. We have a parabola whose y-intercept looks to be, um, let's see, 16, 14, 12, 10, negative 10. So I know that quadratics, the y-intercept, is at zero and its C value, okay? So A and B are the only ones whose C values are negative 10. Then I see that it has a, a Y intercept, or X intercept, excuse me, at negative two and at five. So I can, um, I can factor both of these. So the first one, negative 10 and um, negative three. So my numbers would be, let's see, negative five and two. and set them equal to zero. And solve, so I get x is positive five. I get x is negative two, which is what I want. So first off, we can see that a is our option. Okay, um, let's look at 58. Which function represents the sequence? Let's look at the sequence. So to get from six to 18, I multiply by three. To get from 18 to 54, I'm also multiplying by 3. To get from 54 to 1, um, 162, yep, multiply by 3, and the pattern continues, okay? So I can see that I'm multiplying by 3. Here's my starting point, so it's geometric. My a sub 1 is 6, okay? So geometric, and these are all recursive, says a sub n minus 1, times how you change, I'm changing by three. Okay, and my starting point is six. So how I start times how I change to the n minus one would be the most appropriate. So that would be option D. Remember um, how I start, how I change to the x, well how I start to the change to the n minus one is how we deal with sequences. Which function shows the function f of x equals three to the x being translated five units to the left? So left is horizontal, and horizontal is inside the house. So inside the house, they are inside the parentheses. Okay, and my parentheses are up in the exponent. And if it's to the left, I'm doing the opposite. So I'm just gonna be writing x plus five. So b would be my option. All right, question number 60. So we have two functions. We have f of t in equation form, okay? Um, where t is height, I mean t is time and h is height. And then we have g of t in table form, okay? Two different functions. Well, it looks like it takes about three seconds, right? And we're, so we could graph, let's see, 0, 4, 1, 36, 2, 36, 3, 4. So something like this. Okay, our equation would look something similar, but a little different. Okay, so we can see the question's asking about the length of time the ball is in the air. So I could I can see that according to my table that g of t is in the air for about three seconds. So let's find ones that say g of t three seconds, g of t five seconds, no, g of t four seconds, no, g of t three seconds. So let's find how long the ball is in the air for f of t. Remember, let's find that vertex and we can double it. We've done a lot of this. So negative b divided by two a, negative 64 divided by two times negative 16, all right? And that looks like to give me, let's see. Give me two. So remember that this is two and this is two. So that'd be a total of four seconds, which looks like D. Which function shows f of x equals three to the x being translated five units down? Well, down is vertical, and that's outside the house, okay? And so outside the house would be like over here, and it is what it is. If it says down five, we're gonna move down five. So that would be three to the x minus five, so A. And then if f of 12 equals 100 times 0.5 to the 12, which represents f of x, so let's rewrite this. So instead of f of 12, f of x, which means that I need 
wherever there's a 12 in this, I'm going to put an X. Well, looking at our options, it looks like they've made a mistake. So none of these options um, are going to work. This would be your resulting option. So number 62 has a flaw.